what is in this? What's in this body wash? What are these chemicals that we're dealing with every day? Like, read it. This thing is so tiny. I need my glasses. This is Amari Walker, and today we're going to talk about what's inside of our body wash product. Have you ever read the label on your body wash products? I didn't think about it until a few days ago, the things that I was putting on my skin other than plastic. And if you're curious about that, see my video below. I pulled out four products that I have in my own home and ranked them from worst to best based on the chemicals present inside of them. Now that I've done my research on it, let's talk about a few ingredients to look out for. The first one is iso Thiazolinone. Isothia, 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 isothiazolinone. Methyl isothiazolinone and its chlorinated product is used to prevent bacteria from growing inside of your body wash. Now that's a good thing because that means it has a longer shelf life. Some of the chemical safety concerns with it is that it's toxic to inhale, depending on the concentration, and it can cause allergic reactions to people who don't normally even get allergies. It's listed at the bottom of the bottle, which honestly, I don't know if that means that it's a very small concentration in comparison to the rest of the chemicals, or they just don't want us to find it because we're gonna get tired reading through the first couple on the list. That would be one compound I'd be pretty nervous about if I saw on my body wash. Sulfates, Trideca sulfate, sodium lauryl sulfate, you may have heard of sulfates before. Sulfates are cleansing agents, also known as surfactants. Sulfates are the chemicals that allow your soap to form lather and just get soapy and foamy. They are what are used to remove oil and dirt from your skin. They are powerful cleansing agents, which is why from a chemical safety standpoint and why people are removing sulfates from our shampoos and our body washes, is because it can be very strong depending on who you are. People with contact dermatitis, acne, eczema, or just skin sensitivities can get extreme reactions to it or their symptoms worsen from using that product. So even when it says that it's supposed to be moisturizing, you're actually just drying your skin out because you're losing all the important oil that your body needs. The next ingredient is fragrance. This is the worst offender on the list. If you see the word fragrance, run for the hills. You don't need that product. That word fragrance can hide dozens of different chemicals in the same bottle. So even if you count, oh, 10, 12, 20 ingredients inside of your bottle, try and double or triple that because of that word fragrance. There can be dozens of chemicals listed under that same word fragrance and over 3,000 combinations of different chemicals to equate to that number. Those chemicals are used to hide the odor of the other chemicals present and also give the scent that's more natural to what they promise in the bottle. The word fragrance acts as a loophole for companies to hide what chemicals are present in that bottle because they're now labeled trade secrets. Why is it bad that they're labeling it all under fragrance and not telling us what the chemicals are? Some of those chemicals have already been found to disrupt your hormones, cause allergic reactions, even be potentially carcinogenic. Some of those chemicals include things like phthalates, which are used in making plastic. Chemicals and fragrance can also mess with our bodies, triggering things like migraines, allergy symptoms, asthma, chronic lung disease, and much more underlying health conditions. Most of those chemicals have not been properly looked into for the hazards associated to our health and to the healthy environment. So if you see the word fragrance, it's probably a good idea to put it down or use it in very limited quantities. Okay. So the worst body wash product that I have in my house, I'm gonna rank number one, Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter. Ah, oh, the sweet scent of sulfates, methyl isothiazolinone, acrylates. This bottle costs about $8 for 30 ounces and has about 21 ingredients. 
However, that is so misleading because the first thing on the list that's a problem is the word fragrance. The other compound in this bottle, sodium tridecate sulfate. My skin's sensitive, I get dry skin, I can't use it again. The EPA has rated sodium tridecate sulfate as a green star, which is safe to use. But if you know that you're sensitive to sulfates, it's just not a good idea to use at all. This bottle has methyl chloroisothiazolinone. What a mouthful. We've already talked about it being acutely toxic and irritant and an environmental health hazard. We're not gonna go any further on that. It's a big no. Alkyl acrylate cross polymer. What's an acrylate? Acrylates are used in the industry to produce plastics and rubber. So why is it in my product? This compound is an anticipated carcinogen, possibly linked to things like lung cancer and prostate cancer, isopentane. Isopentane is a known irritant, corrosive, flammable, an environmental health hazard, and apparently it smells like gasoline. I know what I want to smell like. Ah, the fresh scent of gasoline. If you inhale too much isopentane, you can get drowsy, dizzy, and lose consciousness. I don't know how much isopentane is present in that bottle, but I don't know if I really want any in my products. And isopentane is known to dry your skin out. Why does it say ultra moisture when isopentane is present that's known to dry out my skin? The EPA rates this compound with a yellow circle, something that is okay currently to use in products, but is recommended to be replaced with safer, greener chemicals. There's quite a few other chemicals present in this body wash. Some of them do not have data on what their effects are to human health and the environment. Because there's a lot of unknown for me, I'm a little bit hesitant to use it. I just believe in using things that I know are gonna be good for the environment, good for my own body, and are not gonna cause me any form of skin irritation and dryness. So this one is definitely out of my cabinet. Just like my jump shot, this product's trash. <laughs> the next body wash that is the worst, I know y'all are gonna be sad when I say it, it's Dove. Refreshing cucumber and green tea. Dove is about $6 for 22 ounces and has around 25 ingredients. Pay attention to which bottle you have in your house. I have the newer version of Dove, but the older Dove products actually have sulfates in them and the methyl isothiazolinones. This one, however, is sulfate and paraben free, which is why it's a little bit better than Olay. However, there are still a couple compounds very similar. They have fragrance, they have limonene, that is a irritant, corrosive, health hazard, and environmental health hazard. The EPA rates that with a yellow circle, so this is a chemical that should be replaced in the future with greener chemistry. Alpha isomethyl ionone. This is a known environmental hazard that can have long-lasting effects on the aquatic life. We have to be very careful about these chemicals because they can have huge impacts on our ecosystem. So it's always good to be wary about products that are harmful to our bodies, but also products that can be harmful to the world around us. Dev also has quite a list of known irritants and some of them are also corrosives. If you think about corrosive, think about battery acid. That's corrosive. However, if a chemical is labeled an irritant, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be an irritant on your skin. You just have to do your research and be very aware of what these products say. Cyanar Dove. <sighs> Float with the fishes. These next two products are much better than Olay and Dove. The first one is the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Body Bar. It has about 11 ingredients and $5 a bar. It's more environmentally friendly because you're using less plastic overall. And the only chemicals listed on it so far are the essential oil blends that are of concern because there's not enough data studying what, what the effects are on it. Iron oxide is also present in this body bar. Iron oxide has the ability to be absorbed into your skin and bioaccumulate. However, there's no study showing that that's of any consequence to our health as of yet. I'm gonna share with you my secret ingredient to being environmentally friendly and clean your body and have less skin irritation. My best body wash that I keep in my house 
is Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Peppermint Soap. So I keep Dr. Bronner's Pure Castile Soap for multiple uses, but the main one includes body wash. For 16 ounces, it's about $10. It's a little bit more expensive. However, you have to dilute it to be able to use it. You usually need about a drop or two on a washcloth in comparison to a whole glob of Olay or Dove soap. It has 10 listed ingredients, 10 ingredients that I have at least 80% of a clue of what they are and what they do for my body and it's better for the environment. Only caution for this product is that if you are allergic to peppermint or just have strong strong reactions to mint, just really dilute it or use a different version of Dr. Bronner's. This Castile soap does wonders for so many different reasons and if you're curious just go buy a bottle. I highly recommend it. That's my ranking of body washes that I have in my house. My final word is this. Don't just trust the words that I'm saying. Go look on the back of the bottles yourself and do some research. I'll post some links below to the places that I looked at that are easy to use and give you informed decisions about what you're using. Also, just because I recommend one Shea Moisture body bar doesn't mean I recommend them all. Take a look at every product in every line because they have different chemical formulas. I know for a fact that another version of the Shea Moisture body bar has the word fragrance in it. Do your homework on it, be more aware of the choices that you're making, and you know, it's okay. It's all about having knowledge of what we're, what we're using and the effect that it may have on ourselves and the environment. If you have any other questions about products in your home and the chemicals present in them, please let me know. Whatever you're most curious about, place a comment down below. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe.